Hey guys, I just got back from Coach Jake's 545 class and I want to interrupt your Bright Spot Friday or more appropriately, I guess, contribute to your Bright Spot Friday. Um, and I want to share a quick, quick story with you and then give you guys a whole bunch of kudos and a whole bunch of credit. So several years ago, um, my, my grandma Strout, um, she was 92 before she passed and she was in a nursing home. And um, I spent a lot of time at that nursing home with her um, there near the end of her life. And I was able to, to spend a lot of time working with her um, on her movement. So she had physical therapists and occupational therapists and they did their thing and she had nurses and doctors and all of them knew what I did for a living. And um, a story that has become over the last... 20 years uh, has become way too common is doctors um, and medical professionals uh, discrediting the CrossFit methodology, which um, is infuriating and uh, hilarious at the same time, um, because most of the time, um, like 99% of the time, they themselves have never stepped into a CrossFit gym, nor uh, have they been involved in a CrossFit program in any type of consistency. Um, but that's a soapbox for another day. Uh, so I got to use the knowledge that I had at the time uh, and the passion for basic human function and human movement to help my grandma um, after what was uh, uh, some really bad accidents and some really unfortunate scenarios. And uh, during that time, I was teaching her the mechanics of a muscle up. And uh, on the surface, that looks crazy and sounds crazy, like a 92 year old woman doing a, a muscle up. <laughs> and, and why? Um, and sure enough, uh, the very next day after we started the, uh, the teachings of the muscle up mechanics, my grandma fell in her room, um, she fell on the floor. And, um, of course there's like the call button, the call light and stuff that calls her nurses and, and her therapists. And, um, no one responded in any type of timely manner. And my 92 year old grandma had the wherewithal to pull herself over to her bed and take both of her hands and place them up on the bed and then transition herself onto the bed and press herself to the bed and then establish a lying position um, in a matter of a few seconds, she went from lying on the floor in a compromised position to lying in her bed because she had the strength and the know-how to put herself through a normal functional human range of motion, which was the strict muscle up. And uh, that story has been so motivating um, through all of my years of, of coaching and, and coaching my coaches and, and working with our clients uh, and I tell you that to give you guys credit for all the work that you've put in the last several weeks in our gymnastics um, progressions, our gymnastics work that we've been doing specifically on Fridays. We started with the rope climb and then we transitioned into the muscle up. And I want you to know that it's not lost on me that I'm aware that on the surface, uh, the muscle up looks extremely complex and really like at just a whole nother level. And it would be really easy to just write it off. Um, it'd be really easy to like, to show up to class um, and, and kind of just go through the motions of the, of the skill work for the muscle up because it seems so far away. Worst case scenario, uh, it'd be really easy to just write it off and not come on those days. And that would be a huge mistake. Um, and you guys aren't doing that. Uh, you're coming and you're, and you're learning. And, and while the application of a muscle up can play out in sport, it can play out at a really high level in things like um, competitive, competitive fitness, which is like high level CrossFit, um, like the CrossFit games and, and work like that. Like there is an application there, but the more important application is everyday functional movement, both now and later into our years. And it, the muscle up is just a really good expression of what the ultimate goal is, which is adding years to our life. Um, then more importantly, living every year of our life. You know, if we live to be 70, 80, 90, 90 plus, um, to be able to actually live those years and use our bodies and do those things. And the work that we do now banks that health and it banks that fitness. All of this to say that you guys are doing those things um, through specific actionable work 
like the last several weeks of, of these gymnastics progressions. So shout out to my coaching team. You guys have done a phenomenal job coaching these movements um, and, and, and teaching us how to apply them in a practical um, in a practical fashion. And shout out to every one of you who have put in the work. And I want you to know this is not going anywhere. Um, we'll continue to drill things like this that do have a very high level of, of skill and complexity. But when you look at them, are broken down into the most basic functional human movement patterns. Um, and I can't wait to see you and I doing these things when we are 90 plus um, because of the work that we put in now. So happy Bright Spot Friday. Keep up the great work. Um, I'm so proud of every one of you and, and so happy with all the progress that you're having. Uh, the proof is in the pudding um, and, and you guys are a testament to that. So keep up the great work and have a wonderful Bright Spot Friday.